We are in Bulawayo for the 2022 edition of the Sanganai Sanganani World Tourism Expo, where the Zimbabwe Tourism Authority is the proud organizer of this year's exhibition. And joining us right now is the Chief Executive of ZTA, Miss Winnie. Miss Winnie, thank you so much for joining us no, today. No, thank you for having us. Now, Miss Winnie, just tell us, what was the vision of this expo this year? I think um, we wanted to welcome everyone post-COVID. Um, and it's amazing how industry actually turned out for this show. Um, we had anticipated that we would only have 250 exhibitors, but I'm glad to let you know that we had 270 of them come out. And even if you look at the quality of stands that were produced for the exhibition, we were totally wowed. We didn't expect industry to, to invest this amount of money um, and to invest this kind of effort, particularly coming out of COVID. So this show really was for us to remind each other that the, the tourism industry is still out there and quite, and quite vibrant. And I think you, you've seen it for yourself. Now you just mentioned that you had an amazing turnout this year. What have the exhibitors been saying about this year's expo? I think um, it's always been a show that the industry enjoys um, and, and a show that the industry wants to participate in because it's that one time in the year where they're actually able to come out and tell their own story and to tell what, what, what they are about. Um, so the last three years we had not been able to meet um, physically, that is. I think we tried twice to, to have it as an, um, a virtual uh, Sanganai, but it's not, it's not, it's not the same. Um, tourism is about engaging with people, it's about getting together with people. So I think the industry was just hungry for a physical meeting. Um, and that's probably what drove uh, the numbers that we saw today. Now, what were some of the major highlights of this year's expo? I think some of the highlights, I, I think for me, what really stood out was the quality of the exhibitions. Um, um, I probably came out here and expected to see just shell scheme, you know, your standard exhibition. But I mean, I've, I've seen wonderful, wonderful, uh, and a lot of effort put into to the exhibition uh, itself. Um, and of course, uh, Amai graced us yesterday, uh, and she was uh, the, uh, the guest of honor at the official opening. And she is, is a tourism practitioner herself. She comes from a tourism background, so she, she fully understood what was, uh, what was happening here. And what I really liked about her, her tour of the stands is that as she engaged with each, each, each stand, it was not a general conversation, but it was a conversation that comes out of someone who actually understands the industry and understands the dynamics of the industry. So for me, those were the highlights. But really just to be totally overwhelmed by the exhibitors that came out and by the efforts that came out of the industry to put up this show. After an amazing turnout at this expo this year, what can we expect for Sanganai next year? You know, I'm actually scared of what next year is going to be like because the bar was so high this year and next year we'll have to surpass it. But um, besides that, I'm, I'm expecting that a lot more of the industry will come out because what came out today was just a fraction of what the industry is about. But I think we could have doubled the number uh, had we not been coming out of COVID. Um, it is a reality that quite a number of uh, our operators are cash strapped at the moment and could not afford uh, to, to be part of the exhibition. But I can guarantee you that next year you will have at least double the number of exhibitors that, that we have here. And if I were to set a target for my team, I would say I want us to fill every single hall at, at ZITF. Maybe a wild stretch, but definitely we will have more participation next year. And now as we conclude, what are your parting words? You know, I, I would say as Zimbabweans, let us be proud of our country. We have a very, very rich country. Um, and I'd like to encourage as Zimbabweans, let's do holiday at home. Um, the ZTA will come out and, 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 and speak to the generality of the public about our Zimbo campaign. It is not just a slogan, but it's really an educating promotion where we need our citizens to know what is available in our country. So we can't wait for all the buyers to come and for them to be excited about our country when we are not excited about it as well and when we are not holidaying at home. So I would say to the generality of the public, thank you for coming to Sanganai. We'll see you next year. But between now and next year, please holiday at home. Well, thank you so much, Miss Cindy, for joining us today. Yeah, thank, you. Thank, you, thank you. Now we look forward to next year's premier business exchange.